Hi, Lindsay here talking about comfort shoes. Today I am talking about hokas, specifically three different pairs of hokas. So what I have been looking for is a one and done sneaker. Currently I have three sneakers by my front door and I find it a little ridiculous. My husband finds it a little ridiculous. My kids find it a little ridiculous. So I was trying to find a sneaker that could maybe do all the things. When I talk about all the things, I am not a runner. So if you're looking for a review on the technical aspects of Hoka's, this is not your review. I've been a moderate exerciser. The first thing I do, I go on longer exercise walks. So I definitely need a you know supportive, comfortable shoe for long walks, either in the city or on paved trails. The second time, like during a week that I wear sneakers is to physical therapy. So that would be, um, you know, weight training, getting on the elliptical, those kind of things are just, you know, kind of general gym use. Third time I wear sneakers is for my dance class, which is reggaeton. So hip hop, Latin type dancing. And so jumping around, turning, spinning. So I need a supportive shoe that is comfortable comfortable for that. And then the fourth time that I wear sneakers in a week is just out and about with jeans or with exercise clothes and just need a general cute sneaker. So in terms of the one and done, I'm looking for something that is comfortable, supportive, but also looks good out and about in you know real life that doesn't look quite as athletic as what I have. Right now I'm wearing these Madewell sneakers when I am wearing jeans. So out and about, just running around, wanting to be comfortable, I wear these uh, Madewells. I love them, they're very comfortable, but I cannot wear them for exercise, they are too heavy. The second pair of shoes that I wear quite often are these On Clouds. I like the look of them, I wear them to dance, I often wear them to physical therapy. I've been looking for something that is a little bit bigger, a little bit bulkier, a little bit more dad sneakerish, which is why I went with the Hokas to try those. These are great, they're very light, weight. Um, they're not super cushiony, but they are, you know, they do the trick. The last pair of sneakers that I currently wear are these Brooks. The Brooks Adrenalines I have been wearing forever and they are very hard to give up. My feet love them. I put a pair of these super feet in them and they are so comfortable, so supportive, and I can walk for miles and miles and miles and miles on um, the trail or on the city sidewalks for exercise walks, and they've served me very well. But again, they look like athletic sneakers, and I'm on, you know, I've been searching for a sneaker that feels like an athletic sneaker, but looks like a fashion sneaker. So let's take a look and see if Hoka's did the trick. All right, so the first pair I tried are the Clifton's in the Anthracite. So as far as comfort, these are very comfortable. They definitely felt similar to my On Cloud sneakers. So they're very, very lightweight. They are cushiony, but not too cushiony. When I was moving around in these, I felt secure. I didn't feel ultra secure, but secure enough. In terms of the look, I was hoping that they would look a little bit more modern or more on trend or more stylish or, or something. When I got them in person, they look fine, but they look like an athletic sneaker. They definitely do not look like a fashion sneaker. And I think that that's what I was hoping from the Hoka's is that they would look a little bit more like a fashion sneaker. The other thing is that I really would like a lighter color, um, especially with jeans. I tend to wear a lighter color sneaker out and about. Hoka's don't have a ton of great neutral, simple light colors, like a, an all cream. So that's why I went with the darker color, just because they looked a little bit more simple and clean looking. Yeah, so with my joggers, they look totally fine. They look like an athletic sneaker, totally fine for dance or walking around. With my like leggings, they look fine. They look like an athletic sneaker. With jeans, they're fine. Um, they're nothing, nothing special. So in terms of look, they weren't anything special, but they did feel really good and very light. So that was my first option. All right. So the second pair I tried are the Hoka Stinson Trail Shoe. Um, these are a very fun shoe. So first of all, when you put them on, um, in terms of feel, they are super cushiony, super cushiony. So they actually remind me a lot of the Fit Flop feel. So when you put it on, you're just like, whoa. You know, they feel like the perfect supportive marshmallow. Just the right amount of support for my foot and just the right amount of cushion. They also have a really nice bounce to them. So when you're walking, you feel like this rocking motion and you almost you feel a bounce at the, uh, the bottom of the front of your foot when you're walking. They're a fun shoe to wear. In terms of the look, I was really excited about these because I thought maybe they would have 
like that platform look that Laura has been wearing with her New Balances that I love. And I thought that they might look a little bit more fashion-y and less athletic sneaker. At least in this color, that wasn't the case. I still think that they look like an athletic sneaker. I think they're cute. I liked the way that they looked with my joggers. I liked the way that they looked with my leggings. Even actually with jeans, I don't know, they were cute enough. Um, the little pop of orange is kind of fun. I don't think that they are cute enough to replace any of my current sneakers. In terms of comfort, they were fun to wear. I think I'd really enjoy wearing these as a walking sneaker, as a walking exercise sneaker. So at some point, if I replace my Brooks, I would start wearing these, but they definitely are not my one and done sneaker that I was looking for. Okay, so finally we have the Kiwana. The Kiwanas feel great on. So these actually reminded me a lot of the feel of my Brooks. They are more cushiony than the Clifton's, not quite as cushiony as the Stinson's. So they were kind of that nice in between and they also felt really secure, even more secure than the Clifton's. So I really liked the shoe. As I said, it felt very similar to my Brooks, which I've worn for years, the Brooks Adrift. I love these, they feel great on. I mean, in terms of this colorway, I think that they're more versatile than my Brooks. They still look like an athletic sneaker. Once again, I had high hopes of these Hoka's in person looking and feeling more like a fashion sneaker, just because they have, you know, they're a little bit bigger, a little bit bulkier, a little bit more dad sneaker-esque. I think that they look pretty similar to my Brooks and the On Clouds. I don't think that they look that much better that they would be a replacement. However, when my Brooks wear out, I think I will start wearing these because they did feel really nice on and just felt very similar. I felt like I could dance in them as well. I think that they look nice. I like the, especially in this colorway, I like the, uh, the copper accents and the fact that the Hoka isn't quite as prominent. And I also like the sole here. Like it's a little bit more, more interesting than my, than my Brooks. In review, I wanted to try the Hoka's to try and find a one and done sneaker that would meet my exercise needs as well as look cute with jeans and look a little bit more fashiony or a little bit more on trend. The Hoka's feel amazing on. I don't think that they are necessarily that much better looking than what I have. So for now, I am going to stick with my three sneakers down by my door. I will continue wearing my Brooks on exercise walks. I'll continue wearing my On Clouds to dance class and to physical therapy. And I will continue wearing my Madewells to uh, out and about with jeans. Okay, so that's it for now. And I will see you guys soon. Thanks. Um, I put a pair of, let's see if I can get it out. The Hoka Stinson's, sorry. <laughs> Couldn't remember if it was the Stinton or the Stinson.